times a year, uh, Fresno State getting some love because of their win against, what, UCLA? They should. Mm -hmm. And they should. San Diego State beat up on Utah. Charlie Brewer did not finish that game. Cameron Rising Man. did. And, and I don't know about what Charlie and how many more snaps he has at Utah, but uh, had the, the decent start in the opening game and then – it just has gone down since that time. I will always love that young man for what he did, how he did it. Uh, but, yeah, his career right now seems to be uh, – it, it does seem to be on fumes. I never had anything personal against Charlie, never had any reason to have anything, you know, of, of any negative feeling towards Charlie. There were definitely times watching him where I grew incredibly frustrated because I felt like for all the excuses that you could give him – bad offensive line, receivers not running proper routes. I mean, whatever the case may be, not getting separation. There were a lot of times where, you know, their struggles were on him. I mean, you can lay the blame at a lot of different places, and, and that's why they struggled. I mean, especially last year. That was – I mean, when we really look back on that, guys, like think about how bad that offense was. That was an atrocious line, and two, you had two coaches who were on completely separate pages – for one common cause and didn't see eye to eye. It was just, it was so, so bad. So I hated that that was how he had to close out his Baylor career. But I got to say, like when he announced his transfer, I was like, good. And, you know, I think the fans need somebody new back there. I think Charlie needs a new fan base to, to root for him. But at the same time, I said this over and over and over again during the off season. I'm very curious to see how he does because was it, more of what was happening at Baylor that was a effect on his play or was it that's just some of it and then a lot of it was also him and I think three games in his Utah tenure you see the same things you saw at oh. Baylor and and they look Utah does not have a good O-line their O-line stinks or at least it did the other night but Cam Rising came in there and they were down two scores and came back and led them all the way to overtime and they still lost but the only reason they had a chance in that game was because of Cam Rising and uh, so I don't see Charlie getting getting back out there and, and playing over him anytime soon. You know, what I think a lot of people don't quite realize when they watch football is that everybody who plays football only has a some – there's a meter on the hits you, you have in you. And – you don't know when that last hit. You don't know when the meter is. wrestling, they call is. it a bump card. Yeah, There's exactly. There's only so many bumps you yeah, can take. Yeah, you only have yeah. so many you can take. And I think that hit he took that knocked him out of the Big 12 championship game against Oklahoma was the one. Because he was not the same after that. He wasn't good against Georgia in the Sugar Bowl a month late. Not, you know, a little bit less than a month later. He wasn't. And he wasn't good when the season started last year. And I think part of it is that you just – it wasn't a concussion. We know it wasn't a concussion, but sometimes it's just your body is done. And I, I've, I thought that about Charlie for a while, and Charlie is diminutive as football players go. And because of that, you know, your bump card for football is probably uh, has less punches on it than would a guy like, you know, say Cam Rising, who's a lot bigger. Yeah, but, we'll, it, it, you know, we don't know how much more. We'll see what happens with the – what they and how 